I wonder if this is the you, this is one you just bought. Yeah. Um, there was a guy. There was a guy that I had uh, dealt with. I got him. I gave him a training kit for it. Oh. And uh, he said he had a windshield, and he said he knew you. Well, he didn't have a windshield. When I got it, it didn't have a windshield. Or, may, or he had a top. Yeah. He had a top and no windshield, but he said you had a windshield out back. I had a windshield on the one in the woods. I had it on for a while, but it's been hard to get it on. But this has got a name on it. Who built it? Oh, really? Where were they at? Toledo, Ohio. Yeah. Shorter than this, um, that from Popper Mechanics came down. We lived out at Emma Lake at the time and uh, went down over there to the fishing site. I still got the eight foot boat I built up here, but we had a little eight foot pram and he wanted to go out in that and take pictures. And he said, Come jump it in. I jumped it, you know, not very hard. And he said, No, nah. he says, Jump jump right off of there into the water. And I hit the water and it went. Phew. Knocked him down in the boat. <laughs> but, uh, and that just had a Briggs, small Briggs in it. Now these were the standard of this uh, helo engine. So these were made in 71. When did you start, when did you guys start the project, you think? Uh, probably 69, somewhere in there. 68, 69. We did so much in them two years. We, we started the Class A motor homes in 68. And um, then I left there in 72 and started Rockwood. A Rockwood RV? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, we were part of Bank of London. And they let the president go. And he come down with tears in his eyes in my office. And he says, I said, just let me go. Oh shit, you know what happened? Well, I didn't stay when they were coming to visit when I went and I had my yearly fish trip. They pissed them off. They let him go and he says, You want to do it again? Because see, when I went with them, they were 13 million in sales. Four years later, we were 130 million in sales. We had started motorhome and we had these, we had. I was in charge of boats and all the RVs and everything. So you've got another uh, StarCraft yeah, on the I farm? Yeah, I got another one back in the woods. Uh, no engine in it. Right now we've got a 340, I think, either two-cylinder. Okay. Uh, I think that's in one of our buildings um, up there. But we haven't, well, I went back and took all this off since it's been laying out there in the 
And the weeds, yeah. The weeds and everything, you know. And I, when I got this and seen I had the top, I thought, well, hell, you can't use the top without a window. So went and got it off and cleaned everything up. Had to well, rework all the bolts and nuts and stuff. Yeah. Put it together, but it uh, it looks real good with the top on it. But it's just hard to get in and out of it. And I have a model here of my tooling guy. He's got he's got the mold made and he's got one shell put together. And then I got him axles and wheels and stuff to put in. Okay, so how big is it? It's about, oh, about that big. All right. There. Is Dave making the uh, mold for you? No, uh, Bobby Hines is making it. Okay. Bobby was my tooling guy at Starcraft for years. And he went with me at, at Solar Industries. And I've had him you know, ever since he left California. What serial number? Number three. Yeah, no way. I have number five. Number three. The original. Yeah, so that was one of the first ones in yeah. production. This has got the tall seat. I think this one's a short seat. Yeah. What? I've got some. I got some. The seats are a little taller. Yeah. Yeah. We had nice flip covers. That Flip down over the back and then a cushion is to get better. Oh, yeah? I had one StarCraft that the shifter was on the right hand side. They actually had the shifter right there. This was never cut out and it was. It was right there with the ball. I still have the shifting mechanism. It must be a higher number. Yeah, I don't know what number it came out of. Because that was probably after I was gone. Yeah, I left in 72. Yeah, the first one of our, you know, these wheels were just about that close together and it was just short. It didn't take us long to figure out we were too damn short. Well, we had a scrambler that we ran. A lot. Oh, okay. That's so where we kind of sized it off of that. My kids, one of my boys, the other day we were talking about it, and he said, you know, we probably ran the scrambler more than we did that one. Oh, we yeah? It, we lived out in the lake, and we had a track out there. And stuff. April 1st, 1970. Uh, produces, I guess, 690 pounds, 
six inch clearance, fuel capacity four and a half, maximum payload. Bosch headlights, I'll be darned. It's got everything in there. Salisbury Drive, Salisbury Drive. Oh wow, there's the, there's the, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, there's some NATV stuff there too. Oh, yeah. Some what? NATV. Right here. Not even open. Not even open. Turn it on. You want to copy that? Yeah, if I yeah, I'd like to take copies of that. You know. Because that way we can re. Let's see what. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, there's the. Uh, canvas products. That's the installation. Toledo, Ohio. Instructions. Yeah. But see, they got the windshield too. Yeah. I try and get a hold of them. speed I had to, to be going off that jump to clear the water. Bobo went over ahead of me. And I didn't think about him not knowing where he should be. I was hanging on him a little bit. I come over there and when I got up there more the water. I hit the back of the bar and stuff and that thing jerked. And I caught me right in the bottom of my spine on the seat that wasn't cut out enough. <laughs> the wood wasn't cut out enough. On the seat. And man, I, it just shocked it right up through, and I could hardly push the controls ahead to move. I finally got enough pressure on it to get him to the side, and they come running over there. What's the matter? What's the matter? I said, Just get me the heck out of here. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is I, I think I still part of my back problem I have once in a while. But uh, the president said, Nah, you, you can't be running. Let, let the guys run. <laughs> Interesting. I used to go with them a lot. Sellers Manufacturing built us a trailer. We could put four of them on crosswise and have room for little motorcycles and stuff to put on the front. And then we pulled it to the 20. When we had the original Starcraft motorhome, which was only a 20 footer, uh, we pulled it with that. Oh, wow. And uh, we'd take it through and the trailer and all the vehicles and go. <laughs> Michigan. Hey, we were getting ready to go to the Three guys stayed there working on the ATVs. Back the next morning, they still there working. And they still work. We don't have lights on these races. when they met each other. Ah. <laughs> they tore up the site. <laughs> but by the time I got there in the morning, they had a new upper part put on it. 